Hey farm hands, farm boy Reef here. So on today's episode of uh, Coral Friday, I got some really nice specimens. Um, I end up doing a, an online order with a, with a coral company called uh, Kraken's Cove Coral. They got some really nice specimens and I got a list that I'm gonna read off to you. There's a, there's a few and they're hard to remember right off the top of my head. So the corals here, they've been acclimating for about an hour and a half. Um, you always wanna make sure and acclimate guys. You wanna make sure you keep your salinity and the temperature, what's in the bag and your tank the same. So I'm going to read off of uh, the list of corals I got for you guys today. And then uh, what we're going to end up doing, we'll take them down to the lab. We're going to coral dip them. We're going to get them all mounted up. Um, I'm going to tell you where I'm placing them and the reasons why. And then we're going to turn the blues down and see if we can get those corals to pop. So the first coral I'm going to read off to you guys. Um, I end up getting the, the Captain America Poly. This is a beautiful coral. I've been looking for this one a long time. Uh, and th this company ended up having them. So I end up getting a couple for eggs. So that's one that we're going to do up. The other one, we got the Devil's Armor Poly. We got the Two Face Poly. We got the, the KC Golden Girls Chalice. And we got the Alka Cultured uh, Ultra Baby uh, Fungi Green with an orange mouth. So these are the corals I got for you guys today. I'm going to show you guys each individual, what they look like under the radions. When we turn the reef link down, get the blues down, see what we got. And then we can check out these corals that we end up getting. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take these corals down to the lab. We're going to uh, ME coral dip them, see if we get any pests on them. Make sure you always coral dip uh, your corals, guys. We don't want any pests, flatworms, pyramid snails, any good little creatures we don't want in our main display. It's always good to uh, coral dip. So let's head down to the lab right now. Let's coral dip up all these corals and then we'll bring them upstairs, put them in the display tank and see if we can get them to pop. All right, so we made it down to the lab. I got my uh, my famous white bucket here, and I got my uh, my ME coral dip. Make sure you always coral dip your corals. I always use the ME coral dip. This is great stuff. I've had a lot of great success. So what we're gonna do first is we've got to mix up uh, our coral dip. So what we're gonna do is we need uh, four four capfuls of these, 20 milliliters, and each one is five. So let's add this to our water. So one, two. Three, four. All right, so we got our ME coral dip. We just have to agitate the water and mix that up. This is great stuff. So I'm just gonna mix up my water. So we got each coral here. We have five corals to do. And Kraken's Coral Cove, they've done a, an amazing job. So that you guys can see that they labeled each one, put the coral in. So I'm gonna start opening the, these up. So the first uh, coral we got, that the, that we got, is uh, the Golden the golden Girls Chalice. This is a very beautiful looking coral. So let's get into the coral dip. All right, so I got a couple corals into the dip already. I got the two the two face uh, poly, I got it into the dip, and I have the, the golden, girls, uh, golden Girls Chalice is into the, into the dip now. So let's keep moving. So what do we got here? We got the Captain, Captain America Poly. Gonna open that up, get that one into the coral dip. We have uh, the Devil's Armor Poly. Gonna get that one into the dip. And then we got this baby uh, fungi plate. Gonna get that one in the dip. So I'm gonna get these open. We're gonna place them in. The one thing here with the uh, Kraken's uh, Cove Corals, he double bagged. Even these little bags are double bagged with that eight mil uh, ply. It's uh, definitely thick. I got some uh, work ahead of me to get into this. But just looking at these corals, they're very uh, very well uh, healed up for frags. They look amazing. So let's get these into the coral dip and see if we get any pests, guys. So the coral's been in uh, the coral dip for about 15 minutes now. Um, I really don't see any pests, so that's a, that's a big thumbs up to uh, Kraken's Coral Cove. Um, you sent me a lot of nice corals here, and there's like no pests on it at all. So I'm pretty happy with that because I know the ME coral really knocks off uh, bristle worms and a lot of different pests we've seen in my other videos. So I can say, good job, clean corals, guys. So what we have to do right now is we have to take these corals out, wash them about three times. You use some uh, sump water, aquarium water, anything you have, and uh, wash these corals off three times before you end up putting them in the display tank. So let's wash these up, let's head upstairs, let's get them all mounted, and we'll turn the blues down and see if we can get all these new corals to pop. All right, so I got all five corals all mounted up. I end up uh, today, the application is a little bit of the, the glue and putty mixture. Um, I end up uh, mounting the baby uh, fungia with the orange mouth um, on the edge of the rock work. Usually they like to go in the sand, but today, because it's such a small piece, um, I want to place it on the rock cliff, and as it grows, I'll transfer it um, to the sand. And this one likes a moderate flow, moderate light. 
um, the, the, the chalice, the Golden Girls chalice. I end up uh, mounting it over here, just on the edge of the rock work. Um, it's in a little bit of the shady area because a lot of chalices, um, they like, a, you know, like high light, moderate light. So this one, it can choose which direction it wants to go. And it's just a moderate flow in that area. Um, the Captain America coral, uh, Zo Zoantha, um, I end up uh, mounting here on the bottom. I'm going to start a new little zoo garden, and they're nice when you cut different zoas together. Um, it likes a you know a moderate flow, moderate light area as well. And then the uh, the devil's armor, I end up mounting here on the side of the, the cliff. I want to start another little zoo garden along the bottom. There, it's a very beautiful coral. It really pops. We're going to bring you guys up close and personal really soon. We'll check these out. We'll bring uh, the reef link down, and we'll see if we can get these colors to pop. Um, the other coral I end up getting was. So uh, the two-face uh, poly, I end up uh, mounting over here up on the, the cliff area. I'm going to show you guys up close and personal. We'll check these uh, corals out. Um, so these, these corals, um, I end up getting uh, from uh, Kraken's uh, Cove Corals in uh, Wellington, Ontario. You guys uh, should check and order from them. Um, I did the unboxing video as well. It was really uh, boxed really well with uh, eight mil uh, plastic bags. It's awesome. So these are the corals I got for you guys today. So I'm going to bring you guys up close and personal. Let's turn the reef link down, see if we can get these corals. All right, guys. So we got the fungia here with the orange mouth. So let's start turning. I got the reef link open. Let's start turning all the, the colors down. So let's take our reds down to zero. Let's take our greens down to zero. Let's take our cool whites down to zero. So now we just got the blues on. So I'll bring you guys in close here. Let's check it out. So you guys can see how, uh, see the nice colors on that. It's got an orange mouth. It's hard to see it right off the bat. You guys can see it. So that's just a baby fungia. So I've just got him placed on the rock here for now as he grows and then I can uh, relocate him. All right guys, so we've got the devil's armor here. So let's start turning the radions down, see what happens. So let's take the reds down. Let's take the greens down. Let's take the cool whites down. So those ones really pop. That's the devil's armor, and they're a faster growing uh, zoo, so I oh, can't wait for those ones to really take off. All right, so on the right-hand side, we got the KC uh, Golden Girls Chalice. So let's start turning the blues down. So let's turn the reds down first. Let's turn the greens down. Let's turn down the cool whites. So now we just got blues here popping. So it's on the right-hand side, so let's bring you guys in closer. So that's the chalice, the KC Golden Girls Chalice. That's a really nice looking coral. As it as it gets older and matures, a lot more colors are gonna pop off of this. So we got Captain America, but he seems like he doesn't want to work with me today. So let's we'll, we'll still try to see if we can get some colors off him. So let's turn the reds down, let's turn the greens down. Turn the cool whites down. He doesn't seem to want to work with me tonight. All right, farmhands. So that's a Coral Friday episode for this week. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks uh, for uh, Kraken's uh, Cove Corals out in Wellington, Ontario for uh, shipping up these uh, beautiful specimens for Coral Friday today. Really greatly appreciate it. Um, you guys should check out his site. I'll leave all his information at the end of the video and you guys should make some purchases. He boxed them very well and he had some really nice high-end corals and I can't wait for a lot of these zoos to take off so I can frag up and give to my friends. So thanks for tuning in guys. Have yourself a great weekend and uh, see you on the next episode.